Hello from beautiful Ireland. Ireland, Ireland. It's always fucking cloudy in Ireland. Look at all those clouds out there. They're all the same color. It's gray. The national flag should really just, shouldn't be green, white and gold at all. It should be gray, gray and gray. But no worries. We're indoors inside my, uh, my I guess my bedroom, but not, it's not really my childhood bedroom because my parents moved when I was like 21. Uh, but yes, this is, this is my room where I did live before I moved to uh, Cork and before I moved to London and before I moved to San Francisco. So because of that, there's a bunch of video game shit here. So I wanted to sort of uh, show off, I guess, my two collections. I'm not really sure what is in the second one that's upstairs in the attic. There's like a bunch of video game boxes and old stuff. It's mostly Amiga things, I think. Um, but I do know what's here, which is uh, my main stash of magazines. Uh, there's a couple of Maxims and FHMs, I think, in here as well, but it's mostly PC gamers. If I can move this guy over. Ugh. And I have them in an order here, these ones, all the way back to August 99, I was on that. They're, not, they're, a bit, they're a bit frayed, I'll be honest. Outcast. Wow, okay, that's an oldie. Is that the review? World exclusive review for Outcast. What did Outcast get in PC Gamer? Wow, look, Driver. Is that a preview? I remember, I remember looking at these screenshots over and over and over again. I bought Driver on the PS1, actually. Uh, probably because of that preview. Uh, what's this, Descent 3. What did Descent 3 get? 67%. No good Descent. Some weird Half-Life. That was that was Blue Shift, I think that was like... It was a screenshots for Blue Shift. Um, I need to see what the review for... Outlast, Outcast was. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess 94. 90! It's a weird game. It's a weird game, Outcast. Uh, Got some clash. I'll put that back in later. I got some classics here. Got the Doom 3 cover. Look at that. Back when Doom games were Doom games. I have to stop shitting on Doom. Um, games TM. And I'll Games TM in here as well for Bioshock 2. Made in Marin. For him magazine there as well, because I'm a teenage boy. Battlefield 2 Special Forces. What else is here? They're going along well. 2001. Okay, let's pick a random one. Mmm. Mmm. This guy. Halo! That's a good one. Why it's even better <laughs> than ever on PC. The system wars never ended. Latest info on Half-Life 2. Let's check it out. Halo on PC gets 91. Even better. Worms 3D, man. That's real up. That's up there with GTA with like best. 2D to 3D conversion, if you ask me. I fucking love Worms 3D. Where's the, where's, I wanna see the Half-Life 2. Look at this shit, look. The way it's meant to be played. Here's a screenshot from 13, the weird cell shaded first person shooter. Plus, get Project Gotham Racing 2 on a Xbox Live starter kit. No thanks. All right, Half-Life 2, where are you? Where's my latest Half-Life 2 info? UFO Aftermath, God, that game was not good. 74, really? All right, fair enough. Some eSports shit. eSports, man, it was even happened back in 2000. Half-Life 2, there you go. It's on the front of the box, front of the latest info. Half-Life 2, here we go. <laughs> One less, right beside Ford Racing 2 and Gangland. All right, that's enough of that. And actually, now that I think about it, I think there's a very special one in here. This is the PC Gamer that I was in back in 2005, I think. San Andreas. Uh, I haven't looked at this in a long time, so it might take me a while to find it. But while we're, while we're waiting, you can read the review for Boiling Point Road to Hell. Uh, me and my buddies made a video. It's actually the first video on this YouTube channel. Uh, we made a... There was a competition in one of these for to win an Alienware and basically all you had to do was create a Like send in a screenshot of you in a video game 
like a Photoshop or some shit. So what we did, me and my buddy Dennis and my friend James and Dale, we, we shot a video of us be pretending to be in Counter-Strike and sent it in. And we won. And we would, they would have stuck us on the cover disc apparently, except that we used, I used like a licensed music. I think I used an Andrew WK song in the edit or something. Where the hell is it? All right, Half-Life, it must be here somewhere. There's all the user feedback stuff, it has to be here. Gamer Snap, the screenshot section. Send in your screenshots. Already, it's it's all Gary's mod shit, look, already. It's just Gary's mod. Here we are. This is it. The AFK Noob by Danny O'Dwyer. That's Dale, my buddy, who's getting shot. Spoilers. There's Dennis. Yeah, add me to your friends list. Some, uh, it's a, the, the story is that this guy is AFK at the start of the game and he doesn't know how to play Counter-Strike and he ends up team killing a bunch of people. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, Danny and his friends at Swimming in Glass, their Wii production company, bring one such episode to life. The noob in question doesn't know that the game has begun, who his teammates are, or how to comport himself online. Uh, yeah, you can watch, if you go back to my videos, you can watch, it's got, I think it's got the highest views of, of that and my stupid Harry Potter Wonder Bukake. and there you go. Kept that magazine. Uh, actually, one of the guys kept this extra one because the one I had, I spilt milk all over it. Uh, and there's all my magazines. Look, there's even more in there. But uh, how about we, how about we wander upstairs? Show some nice views as well. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Any pictures? Now there's me. There's me as a young lad. Beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Where are all the grey hairs? Where are all the grey hairs? All right. Ugh. This is where I was when I built my my gaming website, Citizen Game, when I used to watch on the spot in that corner on like a little, my PC was all set up here. It's my old chair. It's all kid shit now because my nephews and nieces are in. Ooh, actually, here's a nice view. Ooh, bees everywhere, fucking get out bees. Of Ireland for you. Some nice hills, nice cemetery. Actually, there's a better view on the other side. I'm gonna leave that open so all those, all those dead bees can get out. Here we go, fucking more bees. Why is there so many bees? <laughs> What's been going on? Get out, get out, you bastard. Yeah, there's a nice view. Quite peaceful up here. Okay, Santa's here. And I think, I think all my games are in here. And there's a light, I hope. There's fucking more bees in here, Jesus Christ. The bee epidemic. That should hopefully turn on some lights, there we go. Right here. I'll be honest, lads, your guess is as good as mine as to where any of this shit is. Is it down there? Oh, here, there's donkey fucking, donkey congas here anyway. <laughs> Hello, donkey conga. I'm gonna need to, might need to pull a box out of here. Let's see if there's any around the corner. Oh, my old skateboard. Oh, my latest old skateboard. I forget what deck I had last. Ruckus. What I got on here? Toy machine wheels. Ooh, they're Abex 7s. Love it. Royale trucks, I think, are they? Yeah. Very nice. See that? None of your fancies. Okay, that's bad, because that means I've been dragging. But look, yeah, actually fucking board sliding. Don't give me no shit. Uh, okay, that's all... That's all... Children's bollocks. That's nothing to do with me. Where are they? There's more bees. Bloody bees everywhere. I love how Donkey Kong is here though, it's like the only the only video game stuff I've found so far is two very obscure peripherals. You can hook those up to anything though, they work. As long as you only need to hit two buttons in your video game. Alright, how about in here? Is there more in here? Is this more of my stuff? Oh, I think it is. This looks familiar. Ugh. Oh yeah, okay. Here we go. Oh, 
This, if I'm not wrong, is a GTA 4 lockbox. Uh, speaking of competitions, actually, this Hitman bag I won off, P off uh, GameSpot UK back in 2007, I want to say. Um, and I went for a, an interview with them then, months later. I didn't get the gig, or like a year later. My dad still has the... It, ca it came with this bag, this duffel bag, and uh, a bunch of like notebooks and things like that. My dad still uses the notebooks down in his office. He's just got Hitman office paper. Ah, of course, it's full of SATA cables. What else would you put in a Hitman? I want a free copy of fucking graphics card drivers. All right. Now I'm worried about these because these are all my jewel cases. When I moved all my shit back from, oh my God. Matrix Reloaded, the album, that is definitely a copied version. Oh, it's not. Alright, all right, this isn't game shit, this is all just... Issues by Korn! God, my teenage life is really coming out here. Big Willy style. Uh, that's, that's... Melancholy and Infinite Sadness. Texas, White on Blonde, and the Godzilla soundtrack. Oh no! Oh, Bumfuck MC's Freestyler, I bought that single. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible, that's Slipknot, Kerrang, disc one and two, all right. There's no games in here, is there? Just more shit albums, okay. Masters of Doom, I'll lie down so you can see it. Masters of Doom, this is the, the book about id Software's sort of heyday. Very good book. My friend Dennis actually owns this, I need to give it back to him. Ugh. Here's one box. I've gone the whole way around. I can't see any of the old Amiga boxes. It's like the typical coming home experience. You look for something and your parents have thrown it out. I doubt they have, but I gotta look around some more. And here's a box. Here's a box of stuff. On top of all these fans. Ah. Yeah, Why did I have that? Oh, because I worked in the store. That's when I worked in HMV. Ooh, Steelbook for Bioshock. Very nice. This is all 360 stuff. Orange box for the low, low price of sixteen ninety eight. Is that GameStop? No, that's that's a that's an HMV sticker, I think, is it? No, it is GameStop. That is GameStop. I used to work in all these places, so I get all the games like a decent price off. What is that? Oh my god, it's just PlayStation 1 demos? Oh my god, Destruction Derby? Alright, here's some stuff. Hello, me. Hello. Destruction Derby, point blank. That's Wipeout. That's Wipeout. That still works in the CD player if I put it in now. I might bring that home with me. Is that Roll Cage? Is that Roll Cage? That's fucking Roll Cage. I think. Oh man, I'm playing so much grip recently and then I just pulled this one out. I actually had the full version of Roll Cage. Jesus, okay. PlayStation demo discs. I think the Metal Gear Solid one's in here somewhere. Oh, ISS Pro is so good. Such a good game. PS1, Time Crisis, piece of shit. <laughs> THPS2, PAL version. I actually own this on a on American PlayStation 1 now. I bought it off eBay last year. G Police demo and overboard. So it was called Shipwreckers in North America. And more demos. Number two. Well, is this another wipeout? Uh, yeah, I think it's wipeout three. Some more Red Bulls. Oh, World Cup '98. Quality soccer game. Quality football game. Sorry, FIFA Football 2005. PlayStation Two. So I did have some old ones here. I feel really bad for having them out like that. I never completed Bully. I feel bad for that too. God, I love the first Assassin's Creed so much. I know I dump on Assassin's Creed a lot now, but those first three games I were like best in class. Look at this Gears of War 2 special edition. See, also, on the GameSpot like community, we used to love this shit. The GameSpot community was way into Gears of War 2. We used to have loads of game nights. It was great. We were mad into it. Me and Carl Duran, Sid Burn 19, would play this shit all week. Oh my god, 360 was a great year. It was a great era for games. I mean, I think we're better now. I think the PC stuff's better now, but... So many. I mean, like, looking back at this, like, look at fucking Fallout 3. Like, 
So many absolute classic things. Let me just pick a random one here. Halo 3, the orange box, Street Fighter 4, and Crackdown. I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> There's a lot of great games came out there. So many copies of GTA 4. I actually scratched one. I wonder if this is it. Oh, look, I have the return. I have the receipt here. Is this the one I scratched? Maybe. Around the, yeah, CD or CD Edge. See the way it's all frayed around the edge there. Yeah, I moved my Xbox the day after I had it. I was playing it and I moved my Xbox. And I went, and the laser just burnt the fuck out of it. So I went, a bit down, went back down to GameStop and, well, I worked there, so they swapped it out for me. They let me keep the original, because it was broken. I'm not quite sure how that one worked out, but. All right, well, there's some games. I don't know where all the Amiga stuff is. You guys are probably more interested in this stuff than the Amiga stuff anyway, I imagine. Because the Amiga stuff is so obscure. They've had a bunch of boxes for basically Sensible Soccer, Cannon Fodder, and a couple of others. I don't know where the hell they've gone. What's in here? Oh, fuck! You've got to be kidding me! Oh my god, the XL1's in here! Holy shit, me and, me and Dennis bought this for a thousand quid. Okay, true story, we bought the original one of these for a thousand, and then it was a scam, and we lost a thousand, and then we bought this one for a thousand. This is the first, like, high oh, there's a tripod in here as well. What else is in here? A road mic? <laughs> yeah, this is the first, this is the camera we used on all the Citizen Game stuff. Say what you want about the quality of this thing, because it's like tape based, but this is the most badass looking camera I've ever owned. You hold it like this, the, like the control is there for the different settings. Look, look how all this shit opens, look, boom. There's all your settings, baby. That's a good find. I didn't realize I still had it. I think I said earlier, I don't think we, we did have it. Hey, look at this, look at this shit. Look, look at just look how cool that is. Chick, 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 information there. Tape goes in here. XL1. And they brought the XL1S, which kind of fixed a lot of the problems this one had. And then it was the XL2, and I think that was the end of that family for Canon. They were weird, they were kind of like low cost professional production cameras. This is where I used to plot about breaking into the games journalism. Just sitting here and then playing games over here. I set up my projector up here on this guy, my projector. And you can see the screen. It's 120 inches when you fold it down. This thing only costs about 100 bucks, but actually if I pull it down, I probably won't be able to get it back up again. And here's all the toys I played with. <laughs> no, that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna ask that if I can find out where the the rest of the boxes are, but so hopefully there'll be more. But until then, thanks for watching. Hey, how you doing? Uh, so my dad came back and we went around the attic in single file and he found these, which is basically what I was looking for. These are all the original Amiga boxes we have. Sensi 9596, Soccer Kid. You might see a theme here. Sensible Golf. Sensible World of Soccer. Worms, another copy of Worms for some reason. I'm not sure why that happened. Mortal Kombat 2, which came on three discs. Look at that. Look at the frame. I remember reading the back of the box in the game shop. With my brother thinking, wow, we can friendship people and Shao can and look there's 12 mental people and you have to be 15 to play it. I think my dad bought that first when I was like nine or something. Sensible Soccer with fake rude hullet on it. And another copy of Sensible World of Soccer. This is the European Championship Edition. Oh, there's more of these around somewhere I think, but these are the best ones. And I'm gonna have to somehow manage a way of fitting them into that. So we'll see about that. These are American candies for my nieces, so they'll be gone. So we'll see. Wish me luck.